Hi everybody, we can do a nice video about stuffing our turkey and roast it in the oven with rice pilaf. Let's see the ingredients. We have our deboned turkey from the previous recipe. We have one teaspoon white pepper, one teaspoon nutmeg, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon coriander, one teaspoon cumin, and we get one teaspoon salt, and we get three crushed garlic. For our filling, we can use we can use short grain, six cup of rice, four cups of bees, two pounds of minced meat, twenty five percent fat, four ounces four ounces of chopped onion, couple of bay leaf, hundred gram sliced almond, three teaspoon chicken stock. We got two ounces of vegetable oil to use it in cooking our filling. One important ingredients to make up the gravy. I have two tablespoons of cornstarch. To garnish our turkey and to use inside the turkey, we got fresh carrot and some carrot for garnishing. I will get some broccoli, we will put it around. It's for garnishing purposes too. And we get four small potatoes sliced to put under the turkey. And we get all the bones which we took out from the turkey to get our gravy. Let's start cooking. We start with these bones. We're gonna add cold water until we cover it. So we wanna draw out all the flavor. One teaspoon of pepper, one bay leaf. We slide it on the other fryer there. We have very hot water here. I'll add some salt. We gonna partially cook this small grain rice. Halfway, make it al dente. Just boil it the way we boil the pasta. This is type boiling. I want it bubbly. We got our minced garlic here. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the spices and this I'm gonna wrap the turkey with it. We open the cavity of the turkey. We'll give it a little spin so it wouldn't stuck in the base. Of course it's double in size. Here we got it. Still raw. We'll leave it for a few minutes. I just lower the heat so it wouldn't over overflow. We just wanna give it a little rub from inside with some of the garlic garlic and one teaspoon of the spices just want to make sure the spices go everywhere in that turkey rub it against each other so the flavor will be in the meat and then we'll fold it back this rice will get sticky if we don't stir it if we are short of the water we just add a bit of water so we just boil it for approximately five minutes. You feel it's it's raw in the center. Add cold water to it. We have a big bowl to take out our rice. We're gonna skim some of this rim from the top of the bones. And since we strain it, we're gonna add one tablespoon of mixed pickle spices. And we we'll let it boil for half an hour. Then we strain it and we get all the goodie out of it. We start our filling. I'm gonna add my oil. I'll put it on high. All right, we'll add the onion and the two pounds of meat. We need to mix the meat all the time. And whatever left from our spices, we can add all of it. And the bay leaf with one teaspoon of salt. That's our bones working on, and that's our stuffing. It developed big chunk, we just smash it. Cut it with our wooden spoon. Saute our almond with half ounce olive oil. This will go in our stuffing as well. We wanna get most of them even color. Here, it's good enough. We're gonna add it into our rice. Make sure, turn it, cool it down. We'll mix with the meat and the rice. When to split it in two, I'm adding my chicken stock. This point, I'm gonna add the bees. Spoon is gone, hand is in. This bees is not completely raw. They process it, they freeze it. I wanna end up with cold stuffing. So cold will go with cold. We got our turkey stuck. I strain all the bones out and I reduce it a little bit, one inch. Now I'm gonna flavor my filling before I fill the turkey. I'm gonna low heat. I'm gonna add one cup stock and to the other small one, one cup. I'm gonna add one and a half to the big one. Cover them. I'm gonna mix the cornstarch with a bit of cold water. Make sure most of the cornstarch is dissolved and add it and mix it to thicken up our broth and turn it into a nice gravy. Lower the heat. We're done with the gravy. Reduce it. Now we got to strain it. Got to strain it. 
we got our stuffing and let it cool for a bit in this bowl and then we start stuffing our turkey we let it cool we're gonna put our sliced potato one layer here it's open open neck so we'll put the neck underneath secure the neck so we see the skin here this have no bone whatsoever our turkey cavity we'll put the rice so actually we're building this turkey we have to put a fair amount of stuffing just like pushing all the rice inside so it become little heap now before we we lose access to the wing we got to take the wing here we need our carrot carrot need to be cut in half so we got, got our carrot two half and four quarter we'll fix the wing first I'm gonna insert so it work like a bone gonna insert a carrot in here we have the wing now we'll cut a little bit from here get the excess out and now we have to check the leg measure this for the drumstick we'll try with the big piece and then for the other bone so we got like one here missing a drumstick we insert the bone it helps us to tie the turkey up the breast if we lose any meat we just put it inside see this is our turkey now we want to build this up a little bit we need this some stuff we're gonna use kitchen thread to tight this baby up just like that and if we feel it can't take more filling now we start tightening it we have the thread we measure twice as much in length we need two one for the leg second string and one around the handle here's the deal we got the cover We're gonna place the long thread on here and the short on the width underneath. Carefully, we put the edges together and flip back. We use the thread, we tight in the middle, double. Okay, we got this lengthwise. Now on the side, the short side will tight it, we'll make it tight, so when we make a second knot, it will loosen a little bit. And this will serve the purpose of wings, we'll bring this piece around and that piece around here. Now we have some potato, cover this side, I'm gonna use this strings around the first wing we brought it little on the side and this one little bit on the side so when we done roasting we cut we've done two hours roasting the turkey in the oven we're gonna check the internal temperature now smell delicious and look delicious for me although a lot of shrinkage here it's 50 celsius close to 60 we'll put it back in the oven put it back in the oven for another one hour we add our carrot to so boiling salted water we add our carrot to salted boiling water we're gonna take out the carrot and put it on the saucepan here and now we put our broccoli we're gonna drain our broccoli we get our turkey out the temperature 70 celsius so we're gonna blade it we remove the strings we want to see how we can carve it see no bones whatsoever we just go easily it's so tender the knife go by itself and we have to check the stuffing inside see soft well done we're sitting the carrot and the broccoli 
with one teaspoon of marsh just to give it some shiny we're gonna dust it with some sugar one teaspoon sugar will be enough just give it extra sweeten make it a little shiny now we get our turkey out of the oven there is some excess water and keep the lid on the side and <clears throat> get rid of the excess water into our gravy adding nice flavor we try it it's balanced it's not salty I'm gonna flip the turkey we'll cover it gonna flip it here our turkey I just show want to show you how soft and how easy to serve it more stuffing toward the end I'm gonna put some of the gravy give it some shine this is our boneless stuffed turkey Shifasak. see you in the next video bye bye